do this? How do I look? Okay. Welcome to the very first episode of the Let's Be Honest podcast. <laughs> Starring me, Soraya. <laughs> How are you guys today? How are you doing? I'm not going to lie. I am nervous. I am. Because I stumble a lot on my words. And so I just get very self-conscious about... See, I'm doing it right now. (laughs) But it's okay because I think this is going to be very good for my speaking and just being more comfortable in what I have to say. So, yeah. Anyways... Hi, welcome. My name is Soraya um, and I am so excited to share this podcast with y'all. I think this is going to be a great journey. Um, I think that it's going to be a lot of growth and I am just super excited to see where this year is going to take us. So for the people who do not know me, this is my third time introducing myself, but my name is Soraya. (laughs) I'm 22 years old. I am from South Carolina. Um, I graduated from Winthrop University, so I'm currently in Rock Hill. Um, But that is soon to change, hopefully in the summer. I want to move to Charlotte, so we'll see how that goes. Um, What else? You'll learn a lot about me through this podcast, but that's basically the basics. Um, I don't know. I started this podcast because... As a lot of y'all probably are going through the same thing, life kind of sucks and (laughs) living in your 20s is definitely something I feel like a lot of us did not realize that it would be like. Living in your 20s is very, very, very difficult. Or maybe that's just me and I'm making this podcast for no reason. But from people I've talked to and from my own life and experiences, Living in your 20s is definitely more learning than really anything. So I feel like this podcast is kind of a safe space for everybody, anyone, even if you're not in your 20s, you're more than welcome. But I feel like this is a safe space for us to have those conversations and kind of work through this life together. And soon by the time we're all 30, we'll be somewhat okay with how we are living our lives. Well, we're going to see. Anyways, I think that this first episode, I kind of wanted to just go over my 2023 vision, which I'll explain why I said vision in a second. But I just wanted to go over how I want my 2023 to look like. I know it's almost March. I know that it's almost March. I know. (laughs) My first episode was really supposed to drop January 1st. But you know, life happened. So you're getting it right now. It's, you're probably, no, we're not gonna wait until March to drop this. It's gonna be soon. But um, yeah, so I just wanted to go over my vision, my goals, and you know, kind of introduce everyone with me, well, myself to y'all. And yeah, Uh, so. My 2023 vision. The reason I say vision and not goals, I was actually listening to a sermon a couple weeks ago and he had this very like interesting concept of goals versus vision. And I can see both sides. I've heard people who disagree with what he said, um, but I thought it was kind of cool and kind of interesting of, of what he said. So basically he said the difference between a vision and a goal is that a goal, like when it's met, that is kind of it, if that makes sense. Like you have like your finish line. And so some people like, say you're like losing weight, you wanna lose 10 pounds, that's your goal. And so you lose that 10 pounds, then boom, what's next? You know what I'm saying? You make another goal or like you say, okay, I met those 10 pounds, like I'm good. And then in most cases you gain that weight back or more or, you know, stuff like that. But when it comes to your vision, it's kind of how you want your life to look. So you say, okay, I wanna lose 10 pounds. Instead of saying that, you could say, how can I change my life to where I can have a healthier lifestyle so that even though I will lose these 10 pounds, I can keep it off 
and I could even lose more if I wanted to. You know, does that make sense? I know like some people can kind of see goals at this as the same way, um, but I kind of like what he said, and that's why I changed my 2023 goals to my 2023 vision. So yeah. So I have my notes here, by the way, for people who are watching, I have my notes here, so I'm not messing up too much. Um, okay, so the word for this year, I'm gonna tell you what I thought the word of my year was gonna be. Success. That was the word that I thought was the word for this year. Um, and success, we all kind of like, basically know what I meant by success. I want money. I want to be able to, you know, get to the top already, if that makes sense. I want my life to not look how it is right now. I want to be successful in my job. I want to be successful in my finances, my mental health, all of that. I just want this to be a very successful year. Why? Because the past year really, really sucked. <laughs> The past year really, really sucked. Literally, like, 2022 was the year of learning. Literally. Like, there was not a lot of, like, ups for me in 2022. I lost a lot of people in my life. I lost a lot of money, a lot of literally everything. I was just not doing well. And so that's why I always like, I want this year to be the year of success because like I'm done losing. I'm done losing things. I'm just sick of it. However, however, of course that was not the word that God wanted me to have for this year. By the way, I'm a Christian. I love the Lord and I also want this this is a podcast for literally everyone, but I will be talking about the Lord a lot because he is a very big part of my life. So yes. Anyways, he put in my heart, the word for this year is trust, trusting him for my life. And that's a very, very, very scary thing. It's so scary because trusting something that you are so unsure about can really just you don't have a lot of hope you don't you don't have a lot of like you don't know if it's going to work you're trusting a wall and it's not a wall but it's like you don't really you can't see what your future is looking like you just have to trust blindly that's what faith is and I am struggling with that really because of how my 2022 look like and I just don't want that to happen again. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of fear going into 2023. And so my year, I just have to be able to trust that God knows what he's doing and that everything that in my life is supposed to happen when it's supposed to happen. So that's my year. Oh, no, gosh, that's my word of the year. Please drop in the comments what your word of the year is because I would love to observe and look at it and be like, oh, that's a good word. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm very nervous. Anyways, another word that's also kind of correlates to that is being content in where I am right now. And I think that's kind of like a, what I'm really working on right now is just being content and where I am at this moment and knowing that this is where I'm supposed to be. So yeah, that's also another word. Another word, <laughs> another word. I haven't looked at these notes in a long time. So this is all just like, mm, that was good. That was good. It's no settling, no settling. I hope I'm not too close to this mic. No settling. I have... I tend to settle a lot because it's the easy way out. But the thing is, when you settle, you miss your blessings. You miss what's actually coming to you. And I want those blessings. I want those blessings really, really bad. <laughs> so we are not settling for really anything. You know what I'm saying? We are driving for what is meant for us this year. When it comes to our job, love life, finances, mental health, 
wherever that I'm supposed to be in this year, I'm not settling for what my body wants, but what my aura wants, my whatever. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just can't settle for the easy route. And that's what I usually do. And I cannot do that anymore. So yeah, those are my words of the year. Now let's go on to what I want, my wants. Did I put my needs up here? Um, I did not put my needs up here, but it's okay because it's all right. Anyways, so this is some of the things that I would really like to do more in 2023. My first thing is to travel. Y'all, I don't know what has been up with me lately, but I just want to see the world. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I am just so sick of staying stationary. Like, I literally just want to see the world. I want to be able to see what God has created. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, there's just more than South Carolina. (laughs) There's so much more than South Carolina. And I just have to see. The other week I went to Chicago It was a really great time and just seeing like the buildings and the snow and the animals, like the deers and stuff. There's just a lot of deer there, but just, it just made me appreciate the world for, you know, cause all you see is just like horrible things nowadays. And so just taking that time to actually go and see what beauty is when it comes to the world makes you have a different appreciation for where you are you know what I'm saying there's a lot of bad things that are happening right now but just seeing like trees and mountains and animals maybe that's just for me but like I just have like it just brings a different type of peace if that makes sense so that's number one um but yeah so I'm getting I'm getting my passport I booked a cruise for my birthday and I'm going to Mexico um But yeah, and then by next year, I hope to like go someplace even more. My best friend lives in Italy. I hope to see her really, really soon. Um, Yeah, I just want to travel. Um, Number two, cooking more. I love to cook. I absolutely love to cook. I'm really good at it too. However, however, I've just been so busy and tired and stressed recently I do not want to cook at all, at all. And I haven't, (laughs) I haven't. I cook maybe once or twice a week and that's not good because it's really not that healthy, you know? And I don't eat really like fast food. I typically like eat from restaurants more, but still it's always better to cook. It just takes time and I, I don't know. And, you know, I can't afford to eat out every single day. You know what I'm saying? I have to be able to stay consistent with cooking. So in the comments, put some recipes, some quick and easy recipes that y'all feel that's y'all's favorite. And let me know because I need some more recipes. That's another reason why I haven't been cooking more because I've been tending, I've been starting to make the same things and I just am tired of it, you know? Anyways, so that's number two. Number three is making money. <laughs> making money. Um, y'all. Which is another reason why, you know, I started this podcast. Because it's tough out here. It is wildly so expensive for no reason literally no reason and this ain't cutting it this <laughs> what I'm making right now is not doing it's not doing it you know what I'm saying like I really want to make more money and the thing is recently it's not even about making more money but being more financially intelligent I want to learn the basics of the economy marketing like investing like how do successful people become successful people when it comes to being financially successful? How do they do that? Cause I like literally like investing is such, maybe it's just hard for me to wrap my head head around, but like, it's kind of difficult. 
And then it's also very scary because you don't know what to invest in. You don't know what to, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't know where to put your money. You don't want to lose your money either because you don't got that much money to invest. So that's why I'm just, you know, I got to be more financially intelligent so I know whatever I'm doing, even though, yes, you know, there all there, there will be some no's, but I don't know. I just want to be able to know or be at least more confident in where my money is going, that I know my money is growing. You know what I'm saying? That's number three. Number four, a new home. (laughs) Sorry for my anchor listeners. That was definitely the microphone. Um, I do not like where I live (laughs) at all. I am a recent graduate of Winthrop University. Maybe I shouldn't have said the name, but I live in an apartment complex that's really near to Winthrop. So a lot of college kids live where I live. And I just graduated college, which is fine, but college kids are nasty. They are so disgusting. Literally, like in the hallway, I had to walk past dog poop. Dog poop, y'all. It's so nasty here. And it's not the safest place to live either. There are a lot of weirdos here. My neighbors, shout out to y'all. Actually not shout out to y'all because y'all creeps. They're creeps. Like I legit sometimes do not even feel safe at where I'm at right now. But the thing is, it's what I can afford right now. And that has to change. That has to change. I also want a place solely for myself because I just do not have good experiences when it comes to roommates. Literally 95% of the roommates that I've had has ended horribly. (laughs) Has ended horribly. So I just need my own space. And the thing is, I may have to get another roommate whenever I decide to move out of here. I found one and I think that's a safe option. But you never know because I thought it was a safe option for my other roommates. But it's not. I really just want a safe place. I want my own, like, having your own space brings so much peace. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm craving right now is peace. Like, that is literally, like, the only thing that I want right now is peace, which is in another episode that we will talk about later. Um, I need lip gloss because my lips are getting a little chap. Fenty, sponsor me. Anyways. Um, but yeah, so I really want to move to Charlotte in the next six months. Um, so pray for me because I I really want to do that and I really want to get my own place, but we'll see. Um, number, what's that? Five, getting a closer relationship with God. Like I said, I'm a Christian. I am, um, God is my lifeline. He is, you know, he is the only reason why I'm here today. And I fully believe that. Um, religion is going to be another episode because it's a doozy. I do want to talk about that. So tune in because this, that's going to be crazy, a wild one. Um, but I am a full believer in the Lord and he has definitely changed my life. And I feel like I just don't give him enough credit in all that I do. I haven't been to church consistently in a very long time. And it's just because, you know, life happens. And the thing is, like, you want to go to a church that you feel like is home. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like ever since, like, I moved out of home, I haven't been able to find a church that I can call home. And so it's just really hard to, like, continually go to a church service and you just are not feeling it. You know what I'm saying? Um, And so I always try to um, start my mornings off with, you know, worship music, prayer, all that jazz. But, you know, I have to just become more disciplined and, you know, giving him the time that he deserves. So, uh, yeah, that's another goal of mine or 
that's what I want my 2023 to look like. It's just like a more confident and more um, expressive relationship with God. <laughs> um, number six, speaking of relationships, I want a relationship. <laughs> um, I'm single. <laughs> very single and um I've never been in an actual relationship before and so that is something that's really heavy on my heart is a healthy relationship and it's tough it's really really tough and it can be really really lonely all the time because you know especially with Valentine's Day that just passed yesterday like, it was tough, you know, because you you just want to love somebody. However, based off of the word of the year, no settling. And I just have to be able to find somebody who is intentional with me. And, you know, I'm not playing the guessing game. Cannot be playing the guessing game. Um, and I just have to trust, really, because... Maybe I'm not meant to have a significant other in two years. I really hope not. <laughs> because that would suck really, really bad. But I say this all the time. I'd rather stay single than be in a toxic relationship, toxic, whatever. I just cannot. I do not have the capacity to handle that. I've been in very toxic places and I just do not want to be in that space again um so yeah we'll talk about more of all of this later in the podcast but this is just you know a review um and then being content with myself you know I am confident in myself physically but I just realized um, a couple of weeks ago that I am codependent, which is another episode <laughs> in the podcast that we'll be talking about very soon. Um, but I realized that comes from a lot of insecurities in my life. It's just being wanting to prove myself to the people I care the most about. Um, so I have to, I'm learning how to be confident in my actions and my, what I say um, and my choices that I make in my life and not just confident in myself physically. Um, and I also put hair journey, as you can see. I'm like about a year locked. I am a year locked. I'm about a year and like three months. Um, and my hair has definitely helped me in my self-love journey, which is another episode <laughs> on this podcast. So please tune in. My TikTok followers, definitely tune into that one because um, I'm a micro influencer on TikTok. And so um, my main content is my hair. Um, so I would love if the people, my followers from there can come, you know, join us on this podcast. Um, but yeah, so I was never confident in my loose natural hair, like, I will always do something with it, put it up, you know, it just never cooperated. And when I started my locks, like I haven't had a protective style in basically a year. Um, and I'm just, I'm so comfortable with my hair. Like even now I, I really need a retwist, but I'm trying to embrace the frizz right now. That's my new challenge is try and stretch how much I do a retwist in a very long, for at least like two to three months. We'll see how that goes. Um, my chair is squeaking. I hope y'all cannot hear that. So yeah, so we'll talk about that more, but I definitely, the main thing is just being content with myself all around, physically, mentally, like all the above. Um, but yeah, so those are all of my wants that I have so far. Of course, there are like little things here and there, but the main thing is that's kind of how I want my 2023 to look like. Um, so definitely write in the comments, like, what are your, some of your vision? What are your goals? Um, like, what do you want your 2023 to look like? I would love to hear about all of them. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. I just wanted to go over my vision with you guys. Um, I really feel like, um, 
this podcast is going to be a really good thing and it's going to be able to help me express myself, express what I'm going through um, and keep me disciplined as well. That's another thing. I'm going to write that down actually is staying disciplined. I'm struggling that heavily right now. Um, I love going to the gym. That's I've been going to the gym for about like two, three years now. Um, and the thing that I'm struggling with right now is staying disciplined in the gym. I always try to go at least three times a week. Um, however, these past couple weeks, I've just been so busy. I've been so stressed that I just have not been able to make it to the gym maybe like once or twice a week on a good week. Um, so... I just have to be able to stay disciplined because in order for me to see the results I want, I'm seeing results, but not as much as, you know, they could be. Um, So in order to see my body goals by the summer, I need to be more disciplined. I want to go at least four times a week now and I want to challenge myself in the gym. I, I try to whenever I do go, but I can't challenge myself like once a week and expect results. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, so staying disciplined, I think this podcast is going to help me stay disciplined and I think it's going to be a really, really good thing. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Um, I think that's it. Um, thank you all who stayed, uh, the past 27 minutes. I think that this is going to be a really good decision I've said that like a thousand times um but yeah so follow me on all my platforms um I'll put them somewhere um yeah (laughs) um so yeah just hope y'all liked it uh I don't really know how to close it out I still have to figure that out but um yeah I want to post it's still a, it's still like a, I, again, I have to be more disciplined, but I want to try and post like on the Sundays, either Sundays or Mondays. Um, so I'll be posting once a week. So keep a lookout. Um, my audio is on Spotify. So if you're driving and you just need something, just go ahead and pop it on. Um, if you like visual, Hey, I'm on YouTube. (laughs) Um, and also follow me on TikTok and my Instagram and yeah I hope you'll have oh that is one thing I want to rate my week it's only Wednesday um but so far I would give my week out of 10 I would give it a I'll give it a nine I'll give it a nine I'm doing really well mentally um I've been to the gym two times this week already um no bs has happened Um, I got paid this week. Um, so yeah, so far nothing bad has happened. Um, I'll give it a nine. Uh, so what would y'all rate y'all's week? I gave y'all a lot of questions to be in the comments. Um, so you can pick like one or two. But yeah, so thank you again. Thank you for listening to the Let's Be Honest podcast. And I will see y'all next week.